Hi, this is Ian Coleman from PIA First. This is the video analysis for dollar index and the FX majors for the week 2nd of July 2018. Uh, we're going to break down the currency pairs, break down the time frames, highlight what we believe uh, is going on uh, in the currency majors. So we're going to start off with the dollar index. Um, here we can see from the monthly chart that we're in a very large uh, bullish channel formation. This area, around about 95 the figure, uh, has been quite pivotal uh, since uh, 2015. If we go to the weekly chart, here we believe we're going to form or eventually form a bearish head and shoulders pattern. So this being the left shoulder, uh, this being the head, this being the neckline, and then coming up to form the right shoulder now. Um, last week's price action reversed all the initial gains. We've actually posted a bearish outside candle, uh, so the immediate bias uh, is to the downside. We have got some trend line resistance located around about 95.83. Uh, this is the second time that we've sort of approached uh, this trend line. Uh, now we look like we've got pincer tops in place uh, in the dollar index. If we break it down to the daily chart, let's just move this off. We look like we've got a fifth wave extension, so one, two, three, four, and then up uh, in five. Obviously, strong selling pressure on Friday of last week has left an evening doji star formation, which again is bearish uh, for the dollar index. If we go to the intraday chart, this is the four hour chart. Last week, we noted this Marabuzo level, which actually lined up with our bespoke support. We now look to be forming a double top formation off those pincers. If we break uh, this level here, again 94.18, then the double top formation is confirmed and, uh, and we should see uh, further losses in the dollar index. So reflecting that dollar bias onto uh, the majors, and we, again we're just going to break down the time frames and highlight where our support and resistance levels are. So opposite to the dollar index, we're in a bearish uh, channel formation. All of, um, well, we've got seen little net change really uh, for uh, June, and we've been left with a very indecisive doji style candle. If we go uh, to the weekly chart, here we've got a DMARC 13. Now DMARC 13 sometimes highlights the end of a trend. Uh, so we're now looking for the opposite basically of the dollar index and we're looking for a head and shoulders left shoulder head right shoulder and we're looking for a move up in a corrective formation in euro dollar uh, if we go to the daily chart i think it's probably the most important chart one two three four five waves to the downside we've now just stalled at this trend of lower highs so there is scope for for mild selling at the start of the week excuse me but it should be limited. Um, the most important factor on this time frame is trend line resistance from these higher highs, very close to 38.2% pullback level, which is 119.08. And we've got our beast boat resistance at 118.75. So that's the focus this week uh, on the rally. As far as dips are concerned, we just go to this time frame, one hour chart. We've got bespoke support at the beginning of the week at 116.21. If we look at this time frame, we can see the potential of a five wave pattern here as well. So there is scope for mild selling off that trend line resistance and then buying the dip uh, for what we believe will be a, a stronger drive to the upside. Sterling dollar, uh, the monthly chart, sorry. Uh, highlights again an area that's been quite pivotal. We really haven't got reverse trend line resist uh, support until around about 127.56. If we go to the weekly chart, here we can see that we had a bullish five wave pattern to the upside. We've now reversed or corrected lower, I should say, uh, and levels close to the 50% pullback, which is 131.27, have attracted dip buying on two occasions. Uh, reverse trend line uh, resistance is now located around about 139.05.
if we go to the daily chart this is the last drive to the downside we believe we've had a fifth wave extension i think this is looking starting to look like an ending wedge pattern uh, on this time frame so basically a break of resistance and then the measure move target is up here which is around about 134 um, 39 the marabuzo level which is the midpoint from the open and the close of a very bullish or bearish candle is located at 131.40 uh, and is prime support um, going into this week. If we go to a shorter time frame, we highlighted this uh, last week. Again, that's that ending wedge formation. Uh, we've got some trend line resistance at 132.29 uh, and we've got our bespoke support at 150, well, sorry, 131.51. So 131.51 is the bespoke support. 131.40 is that Marabuzo support. So we're expecting the combination of those uh, two levels uh, to hold any uh, any downside move at the beginning of next week. Dollar Swiss uh, monthly chart is a, or well, we believe is a ending wedge formation. This area, which is the psychological one, the figure, has been pivotal um, for really since sort of 2010, in fact. So it was support, then resistance, then resistance. And again, it's becoming resistance at the moment. If we go down to a shorter time frame, the weekly chart, we had a DMARC 13, again, uh, often a sign uh, that the rally is exhausted. We've tried to move to the upside. All of last week's, or the majority of last week's initial uh, gains were sold into. Uh, what 99.21 is uh, our bespoke resistance at the beginning uh, of the week. Um, and we're expecting further losses. Not as aggressive as uh, the rally in Euro dollar. Um, dollar Swiss and Euro dollar are virtually minus one correlated, but because we think Euro Swiss will also move to the upside, we don't think the, the move lower in, uh, in dollar Swiss will be as, uh, as aggressive. Dollar Yen, I think the most important time frame is this one. Uh, which is the uh, one hour chart we look to be forming an ending wedge uh, pattern the measured move target is 109.68 uh, which is the start of the wedge we've got um, trend line support 110.51 at the beginning of the week and we've got our bespoke support 110.40 so we really need to see a drive through there we might even move lower bounce retest and then move to the downside um, like I said, 109.68 is uh, trend line. Sorry, is the measured move target for dollar yen. 109.45 is our bespoke support. Um, dollar CAD. Again, we did a video report on this last week. Um, the monthly time frame, we can see a breakout to the upside. 130.61 is reverse trend line support. If we go to the weekly chart, then we've got an inside wedge pattern. We've got a strong bearish candle from last week. So this is a bearish outside week uh, and normally highlights the top of a trend. So this time frame uh, basically tells us that we should be moving uh, to the downside. If we go to the daily chart, we've got that bearish outside week. We've also got a bearish outside day. We've seen a strong drive uh, for the last two day days. Uh, of trading last week if we go to the two hour chart here we can see got a double top formation it was confirmed uh, with a break of trend line support we then driven through uh, well I had a small bounce and correction this was actually our bespoke resistance on Friday uh, and then we've moved to the downside we've got 261.8 percent extension at 131.23 however uh, commodity currencies have a tendency to drive through uh, those support levels uh, and actually move down towards 423.6% which is down here at 129.60 the reason that we favour this area is because our next bespoke support is located at 129.78 so any sort of minor uh, rallies at the beginning of next week we will be looking to sell into 
Aussie dollar, and I think this is probably the most important time frame going into this week. Um, we could be forming a reverse head and shoulders pattern. Far too early to tell. So basically, this would be the left shoulder. This would be the head. And then a move up. And the only reason I'm saying that is because we've got some bespoke resistance here at 74.58. It's close to the previous swing high. So after we reach there, maybe we sort of pull back, uh, pull back down. At the moment, we've got bespoke support at 73, 78. So we're probably uh, going to see some range trading uh, in between these two levels uh, at the beginning of the week. Euro sterling. Uh, we broke to the upside, the ascending triangle formation. However, levels close to uh, the 78.6% uh, pullback have found some selling. Um, We've, close, we've posted a doji style candle uh, on the daily chart. If we go to this chart, and we are long actually uh, at 88, I think it's 88.50, I have to check our levels uh, in euro sterling at the moment on a medium term call. We're going to monitor this very carefully at the beginning of the week. If this looks like the next rally is rejected along uh, around about 88.70, then we're probably forming a, a bearish head and shoulders pattern. So this would be a left shoulder, this would be the head, and then we'd form the right shoulder. So if that if that is the case, then we're going to be looking at getting out of our uh, of our long trade, uh, medium term long trade in euro sterling, euro yen. Again, a decent drive uh, to the upside on Friday. Our bespoke support is at 128.58, which is very close to the Marabuzo level from Friday. Really got to see a breakout of this uh, trend line resistance at 130.12 to see to then see a higher correction, what we be, believe will be a correction uh, towards 132.58. We've actually got an A, B, C, D formation target at 132.30. So basically the call next week is to try and buy dips close to the Marabuzo. Uh, for a drive to complete this ABCD uh, correction. Okay, I hope you found that informative uh, and we'll be back soon uh, with some more video analysis. Thank you.